Hello everybody, welcome to the Nero's Homestead. I'm Ella and this is my helper, Nora. <laughs> and today we're gonna make homemade duck egg noodles. Let's get started. Since the duck egg's shell is a little harder than a chicken egg, we have to hit it on the edge of the table. this knife because it like the membrane harder than a chicken's membrane so we have to pierce the membrane with this knife yo yo To the flour, we're going to add two tablespoons of sea salt. We'll stir that up a little bit. Then we're going to add the egg yolks and the whole egg. We'll stir that around to moisten it. After I mix it in pretty good, I'm gonna start finishing it with my hands. It smells so good. Now we're gonna add water to it one tablespoon at a time. And keep working it up. Knead the dough down for a few minutes. Now we need to cover the dough with a towel to let it rest for about 10 minutes. My grandma has this noodle making tool and she's gonna help me work it. We're gonna cut our ball of dough into three pieces. And this um, noodle maker has an adjustable dial on here. We're going to open it up as far as it will go on zero. So the first thing we're going to do is feed the dough down inside. Ella's going to do it while I crank for her. Now it has to be able to catch. It's a little bit squeaky. Here, we're going to do it over and over here. Do this again. this and we're going to fold it in half, stick that on there, and feed it down through there again. You need to try not to let it get over along the edge here. Try to keep it in the middle as best you can. Catch it. It's 
time we're going to fold it in half lengthwise. dial down to number one, which is makes these little rollers closer together. Can you hold it? And it's going to make the dough thinner. So hold it up so it's fairly tight. side and work on another we're gonna sprinkle some flour on the table as we get the noodles cut we'll lay them on this floury table now we're gonna put this attachment onto the thing that makes the noodles thin Now we have to move the handle up to here. Since these pieces are so long, we have to cut them in half. We're going to use the thicker noodles because that's how I like plain noodles. Without tearing them up, pick them up. Pick them up. Don't. Okay, let me show you. You're gonna wait. Don't. Um, you can't. Um. We're gonna spread the noodles out and separate them a little bit. Okay, now you have to let them sit like, overnight and dry. It's the next morning, and the noodles are dry. This is the chicken noodle soup for lunch. So for now, we're gonna put it in this pan. My cousins are going to be here for lunch today and that's going to make a lot of noodles. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.